All right, so you've gone out and you've gotten all of this great skincare to make your skin look fabulous. But then comes the question, how do you put them on? What order do they go in? How do you layer them to make sure that they're gonna work the best and give you the results that you really need and also not cause you any problems on your skin? You just don't wanna mess it up, right? But we're gonna solve that layering of product mystery in today's video. Well, hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new and not familiar with who I am, I'm Chris, I'm a skincare expert of 34 years, and I'm here to help you find skincare that will work for you, not empty your wallet, and not do you more harm than good. So if that's the kind of content you've been looking for here on YouTube, please stick around by subscribing and hitting that little notification bell so that you know when my new videos are up every week. All right, as I said, number one question that I seem to get all of the time, and if people take this really seriously, you would think if you did this wrong or made an incorrect choice on what skincare product that you applied to your face, it would just melt off or the world would come to an end. But I get it, I get it. We spend a lot of money on skincare products. We want them to work correctly. And if you watch a lot of YouTube videos or read up on this on the internet, it can get really confusing and it shouldn't be. It's a very, very simple process when you keep certain things in mind. Now I will list these layering steps below in the video description box so you don't really need to write them down. You can go and look after the video is over. And I also have placed a chart that is exactly the same information as I'm giving you today over on the Skin So Fabulous community blog. So if you're not a member of that, please check that out. I'll put a join my blog link down below as well. It's free. You can have access to this information anytime you wish. And it's a fun place to be because you get to talk to me directly and other people on the blog. Just a really good resource. So if you haven't done that, be sure and check it out. Okay, so skincare product order. Let's get really serious here. It's gonna be like a TED talk. No, it's not gonna be like a TED talk. Very simple. We always wanna start with cleansing, both in the evening and during the day. But let's focus first just on the day steps. So a gentle cleanser appropriate for your skin type. I often tell you guys, if you have oily skin, you want a foaming clarifying cleanser. If you have dry skin, normal skin, or combination skin, you want a hydrating creamy type of cleanser. So keep that in mind. And when you do cleansing, your skin should never feel over dry, tight, or squeaky clean. That means that the cleanser you're using is too harsh for your particular skin type and you need to change it. Tons of videos on that subject on the channel, so be sure and check those out if you need to. Next up after thorough cleansing is a toner or essence if you use one. Now I am not a big fan of most toners because a lot of the commercial toners have alcohol or denatured alcohol in them and can be too drying and really usually aren't a necessary step. However, hydrating toners or essences, things that help balance pH, there are tons of those products out there. I like the spray essences because again, it's very moisturizing, hydrating, and we're not really putting anything, it's a spray, we're not really putting anything on the skin and wiping it off with a cotton ball. I don't really like that process for the skin. I just think it's too much, it's too much friction and unnecessary, but you do you boo, if you have a favorite toner, this is where you would use that step. Now I will also mention, I will give some recommended products that I use down below in the video's description box for each of these steps as well. So if you need to find a product for one of these steps and you don't have it, I, you'll be able to find some suggestions from me that I recommend down below. Now here's where it usually gets very confusing for everyone. After cleansing and toner or essence, next up are going to be your water-based serums, things like peptides or glycolic acid serum, vitamin C serum. Then you would apply any type of spot treatments or spot treatment serums that you are using. As you can see here, what we're doing is we're putting on skincare products that will readily absorb before we get to moisturizers and oils and things like that because we don't wanna have anything in between these products and them being absorbed down into the upper layers of the skin where they can do all that wonderful work that we want them to do. So if you're applying a spot treater or an eye cream in the daytime, now would be the time to do that. Next up would then be your day moisturizer. And I usually recommend for daytime, very light water-based moisturizers. Neutrogena Hydra Boost for extra dry skin is the one that I personally use. There are a lot of these out there. If you have dry skin, and I know a lot of you are starting to be affected by the dry, cold air of winter here in the US and Canada, 
This would be a time to apply a moisturizer that has ceramides, something that can help protect and support the lipid layer to keep moisture in and the elements out. But for most of us, most of the year, a light water gel based moisturizer made with glycerin and hyaluronic acid is gonna be more than enough moisture for you to get you through the day. And then of course it's daytime, so that means sunscreen SPF 30 is plenty. You don't really need to use a 50. 50s tend to be greasy. They tend to be irritating, especially around the eye area. So I prefer mineral sunscreen over chemical sunscreen, but just be sure that you are applying it. We know study after study keeps telling us 70, 80, 90% of the visible signs of aging come from accumulated damage from UVA, UVB light. So very, very important to wear the sunscreen, 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 sunscreen. Have I told you, you need to wear sunscreen. Now let's talk about nighttime. For those of you who wear cosmetics, very important to get that makeup off completely. You can use things like micellar water or oil cleansers as your first step to break down the makeup and get those cosmetics off, followed again by a gentle cleanser appropriate for your skin type. Got to start with that clean skin. Another reason it's really important to make sure you do not miss that nighttime cleansing is that during the day, the elements, toxins, irritants, all of those things have landed on your skin from the air and from us touching our face. And unless you're some kind of special human, you've touched your face several times during the day. So we wanna make sure we get all that oil, dirt, bacteria, toxins, and irritants off the skin. Then again, it would be time for a toner or essence spray. I really like using essence sprays at night because they're super hydrating and refreshing and they add just an extra punch of moisture before I go and apply my serums for nighttime. Now, the same thing here. If you're using peptides or any other type of water-based serum, this is where you would apply those. Then you would follow those with retinol moisturizers if you're using them, your tretinoin, any kind of retinaldehyde, retinoic acid would be applied now. And then you wanna apply your night moisturizer. And for most people, a hydrating water-based moisturizer again will be fine however if you do have dry skin combination skin you will want to use a heavier night cream that can help trap the moisture in and help really support and build that lipid layer that you need to get you through the daytime and keep your skin hydrated and keep it from drying out and i know a lot of you guys are into skin care oils themselves in place of a moisturizer at night, you can use the oil, but again, that would be last. Anything that's going to put a layer between your products and your skin, you wanna make sure goes on last because it will stop your other products from being absorbed and working well, and that's just a big waste of time and money. Okay, so what about all the new multitasking serums? Well, you have to kind of take a step back and think about what your multitasking serum is doing. If it contains several ingredients like a vitamin C serum, peptides, perhaps some hyaluronic acid, and even a retinol, those replace all those extra steps. So you would be using the multitasking serum in place of those. You don't need to go back and add on products in your skincare routine that are already in your multitasking serum because I do find when I talk with folks that a lot of times they are still applying extra retinol or what have you. So we don't want to over apply skincare products to the skin that can lead to irritation and dryness and other problems, things that you're trying to combat. And doing these skincare steps in this order will help you utilize your products the best way and also help your skin get the most out of it. Again, there is a chart for all of this over on my Skin So Fabulous blog, so be sure and go check it out. I hope this video, I know it's short, it kind of a refresher, but I do hope it was helpful in putting these things in order for you to so make this all very simple. If the video was helpful, please be sure and give it a like, share it out, and let me know in the comments below what other questions about your skincare routine you have, and I will be sure and try to answer them. Love you guys. Thank you for watching. I know you have a choice here on YouTube, and I really appreciate that you choose to watch my channel. Stay beautiful, and I'll see you over on the next video. Got a skincare question you want answered? Just type Chris Gibson and the topic in the YouTube search bar and the video will come up. Yeah.